So today I found two generational talents in the same draft class. We've got Chuck Riddle with the Los Angeles Angels and Stephen Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Both look absolutely insane and they actually look pretty identical. They just play two different positions and you've been asking for a generational talent career sim. So let's see which one has the better career. All right, so before we actually get into the first year, let me show you each prospect really quickly. So 18 years old, eight potential, 81 overall, 99 potential. You know the drill. So first overall pick was Stephen Bell of the Pirates. Looks like a crazy catcher. Looks absolutely insane. Next, we'll go to the Angels who had Riddle. I forgot his first name already. Chuck Riddle, third baseman. Again, 99 potential, 18 years old. And like I said, looks really identical to the Pirates catcher. So we'll see which one has a better career, Riddle or Bell. And let's get to the first season. Let's see what happens. So if this is the first career sim video that you've seen of mine, essentially what I do is I let the AI take control of everything. Essentially, whatever happens, happens. If they get traded, if they sign to a new team, we're going to see how it all plays out. And we've got two different players to keep track of. So we got a, we got a lot to get through. So for season one, let's take a look and see what the Pirates are up to. Stephen Bell is going to make his a oh, his MLB debut at the age of 18. He doesn't need any minor league experience. He's hopping straight into the MLB, which is absolutely crazy. And as we move over to the Angels, it doesn't look like Riddle is going to be there. Instead, he's going to start his career in Triple A. I guess he does have to overtake Rendon, who I, I think he can do that pretty quickly. In the first season, let's go take a look at All-Star voting because I noticed a little name there and that is Stephen Bell up to an 83 overall and an all-star at 18 years old and I didn't see the third baseman so I'm assuming he's probably still in triple a unless maybe they gave him the call up which they did it's just he's only had 60 at bats but he's also an 83 overall and in the MLB so at 18 okay so season one is over and both players have made their MLB debuts I wonder who's going to take the rookie of the year award so here we go Kyle Nicholas. Kyle Nicholas is rookie of the year? What? It wasn't even, it wasn't even, it wasn't even either of them. I guess it could be the other one too. So Kyle Nicholas, who, uh, okay, he, he took it from Bell. Did Riddle win it on the other side? He was third. So both of them were in the rookie of the year race. Unfortunate. So the Angels are in the postseason. So Riddle will have some postseason experience. But um, our our young man, Stephen Bell, will not. 22 doubles, 19 home runs, 130 hits. Finished the season at a 258 average with a 743 OPS. To be honest, okay, not bad, not bad, not great, not bad. And as we head over to the Angels, let's take a look really quickly. We've got Chuck Riddle hitting in the five spot, up to an 83 as well. And you can see 77 hits, 17 home runs, 15 doubles. So what is that? 20, 32, 32 extra base hits out of 77. Not bad. 802 OPS, 256 average. I mean, both of them had fairly solid seasons. What was this? 300 at bats compared to what were the, what was Bell's at bats? How many did he have? 504. So depend, you know, it, Riddle's numbers could have dipped a little bit if he would have had 200 more at bats. So we'd won't know obviously but let's see let's see what happens in the postseason for mr riddle they are going to be eliminated so no post no world series in season one but at 18 years old both of them got some crazy mlb time season two is in the books and no angels in the postseason but now it's the pirates turn and we've got another award david bednar all right so Let's take a look. Let's see if Riddle or Bell have made any of these awards. I guess I could have looked at like gold gloves as well to see if they they got it. They're not going to be in the rookie of the year. No Hank Aaron um, gold glove. So he's on the AL side. So he's not there. Oh, no. Third baseman. Uh, so our catcher for the Pirates is not here. And if we go to third base, no Riddle either. So what about gold or uh, silver slugger? I'm all over the place with my different awards and different leagues. So Chuck Riddle actually was in the mix for the Silver Slugger. Ooh. But Stephen Bell was not in the mix for the catcher uh, Silver Slugger. But I mean, looking at these numbers, good Lord. Holy cow, C catchers are popping off like crazy. So let's see what we've got here. 87 overall already. 271 with 20. That's a good year. That's a strong season. 25 home runs, 22 doubles. 82 RBIs, that's solid. 810 OPS, oh yeah. 
that's a good second season for Stephen Bell for sure. Um, oh, actually, let me let me go back. Let me let me let me check the little the little whippage. What are we not whip? Um, that's pitcher. What am I thinking of? War. Oh boy, I think I had a little too much too much coffee. I'm all over the place. <laughs> let's let's check out the war, not the whip. Let's check out the war. 4.2 this year, 2.9 the previous season. Um, struck out a little bit more. But also the walk numbers were about the same as well. So not bad, not bad, not bad at all. He's actually looking pretty solid with what he's got going on. So now let's go check out Riddle and see what we have. 87 overall also, uh, like I said, they look almost identical stat wise. Like it's crazy how similar they are. And he had a really good season too. 33 doubles, 26 home runs, 88 RBIs, 264 with a 787 OPS. So yeah, the OPS is a little bit lower but everything else looks pretty solid. And then his war is 2.4 compared to what? The other one was 4.2. So maybe the war is a little bit lower and it's not as good, but okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Does he have any quirks? No. Does Steven Bell have any quirks? Does he have anything going on with him? No. But I mean, besides like the speed, they look like almost identical attribute wise. So, so far, pretty similar career lines, couple of war different differences, but the Pirates are in the postseason and they're going to advance here. They're going to be taking on the Braves and also advance there and now taking on the Dodgers and they will reverse sweep the Dodgers and in 2025 the Pirates are in a World Series to take on the Blue Jays and they are one game away from a World Series and it is tied now game seven and they end up losing oh no playoff mvp goes to ian hap that is disappointing so let me take a look at the squad hap hayes reynolds cruz mount castle man they've actually made quite a few changes good lord jamison tyone's back all right i see what the pirates are up to they're they're going out there making some crazy moves so season two's in the books and good stuff Season three and both teams have missed the postseason, which is uh, not what you want to see. We have no awards here with the Pirates as Jonathan India is now with the Brewers, which is crazy. But let's check. A, let's take a look. Let's see what we've got going on here on the other side and see if we've got any awards for the third baseman with the Angels. And I guess we got to go gold glove. So no gold glove. Third base side. No gold glove on that side. I guess he does have Nicky Lopez and Matt Chapman to compete with. And if we go over to the Silver Slugger now, no Steven Bell, but I mean, Will Smith's hitting 40 home runs. That's gonna be pretty tough to take over. And on the other side, Chuck Riddle though, 289 average with 22 home runs, 89 overall. I mean, he's he's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty solid. So here we go. Steven Bell's up to a 90 overall. Look at the fielding. Look at the hitting numbers. Woo-wee. Quirks, no quirks still, but a 265 average, 341 on base percentage, and a 765 OPS. Really, I guess I guess the power numbers did go down. The doubles, the home runs as well. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna lower your OPS a little bit too. But he's really sitting around that 500 at bats per season. RBIs dipped a little bit too. Less strikeouts though, more walks. So that's an improvement for sure. Obviously, the WAR. Ooh, the war stays exactly the same, actually. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. But up to a 90 is pretty crazy. Up to a 90 is pretty crazy. And if we take a look at Chuck Riddle here, we've got 22 home runs, 31 doubles, 160 hits, 81 RBIs, 289 with an 842 OPS. I mean, that's that's a strong season. Chuck Riddle might be taking, a, taking the lead here. Yeah, his war is a little bit lower. But um, his fielding numbers are a little bit lower, so he might be committing more errors. So what, 14 so far in his career compared to Stephen Bell, who's a catcher. So his his error numbers are, where are they, where are they? He's got 18. Okay, huh, huh, okay. All right, interesting. Interesting stuff going on here, but you know what? I, I, this is a pretty competitive battle. Fourth in the books and a couple gold gloves out there. It looks like the Pirates are getting some players Alberto Herrera, 22 years old, B potential. Looks like they've got another decent draft pick. But going back to the more important stuff, Juan Soto's with the Marlins. Okay, now the important stuff. Let's get into it. Let's see what we've got here. We have 
Let's let's run through the NL side. So no award for our catcher Stephen Bell. He was in the mix for the the Gold Glove, which okay, a little bit a little bit of respect right there. What about the Silver Slugger? He, he's in the mix as well. Like just Will Smith is just on a tear. He is absolutely unstoppable right now. So let's go back and let's let's take a look and see if Chuck Riddle is in the mix for any of those awards and it doesn't look i thought that said bj singh i was like oh we have a career career change for bj singh but let's see any any gold glove action no gold glove action what about a silver slugger for chuck riddle there it is chuck riddle with a silver slugger over there at third base and let's go take a look at stephen bell's numbers as i accidentally back away from it stephen bell 92 overall the power first lefties is lacking 54 Looks like his lefty numbers in general were probably pretty bad if he's going down. But 50, uh, 92 overall, 144 hits, 28 home runs. So that's a career high. Doubles, just can't get past get past his 22 number. Strikeouts went up. Walks went up as well. But a good good season, 288. Like, I would say this is a career year for him. Yeah, I would, I would say that for sure. Like, that's a pretty good season. And four seasons into his career, I think he's looking pretty good. 6.6 .6 war. And right now we're at 92 home runs and just short of 550 for hits. So again, not bad. Let's head over to the Angels and let's see what the third baseman's up to. He's 92 overall. And I mean, he, yeah, he's, he's looking pretty solid too. No quirks, but 34 home runs. So he's one shy of 100 Woo. hits. He's at 550. So he's above Bell just a little bit on both. RBIs look good. Strikeouts, walks. Okay. 922 OPS is pretty nice with a 288 average and a 380 on base percentage. Woo! War 6.9. Very nice. And I would say Chuck Riddle's off to a pretty hot start. I would. I would say that for sure. So there we go. Chuck Riddle, Stephen Bell. We've got one slightly, slightly above. Let's get to season five. Oh, actually, the Angels are in the postseason. So let's see what they're up to. Taking on the Twins now. Let's see what happens here. They advance. Going to be taking on the Blue Jays now. They advance. Taking on the Cardinals in the World Series. What are we going to have? It is one game shy. There it is. The Angels defeat the Cardinals. Does Mike Trout. Yep, Mike Trout's still in the lineup, but no Otani. But there it is. Mike Trout, World Series winner. Chuck Riddle. World Series winner and Luis Renifo is the MVP with three RBIs, not even a home run. Really? You have Chuck Riddle with two home runs. You've got Taylor Ward with three and eight RBIs, 280. Like, huh? How is Luis Renifo the MVP with those kind of numbers? There's got to be someone a little bit better, right? But there it is. Chuck Riddle. He's got he's got a silver slugger. He's got a World Series under his belt. So I'd, I'd say he's doing a little bit better than Stephen Bell right now. Season five's in the books and the Angels once again made the postseason. The Pirates look like they're on a little bit of a down, a decline once again. And Stephen Bell, a gold glove. Okay. Shohei's MVP. Man, some of these teams, Pete Alonso with the Cardinals, Soto with the Marlins, Otani with the D-backs. What? And so let me, let me see. Do we have Stephen Bell anywhere around here? Does it? look like it obviously he's not going to be winning reliever of the year rookie of the year but no hank aaron he does have the gold glove which is awesome to see and as we move to silver slugger is he going to have it no now tyler soderstrom's with the pirates or not the pirates the padres ah man okay so no silver slugger i guess we can hop over to chuck riddle's side he doesn't win it this year j ram just beats him but what about what about a gold glove no luis guillorme's got it okay and any other awards that he may have won, not MVP or anything like that. So, all right. Okay. So, a gold glove is now Stephen Bells. And, I mean, he actually looks like a very, very well-rounded catcher. Those fielding numbers are through the roof. The hitting numbers look pretty solid. Even the lefty numbers went up by a lot. 10 attributes. A plus 10 attribute for contact versus lefties. And let's see here, 31 doubles, 21 home runs, 155 hits, 83 RBIs, and a 280 average with an 831 OPS. So pretty good. I would, I would say another career year for him. And as we move over to war, 6.8. So yeah, definitely pretty solid. Quirks, still no quirks. Huh. 
I, I guess nothing's like really too crazy, but I, I would have thought may, maybe he would have he would have gotten something. And as we head over to the Angels now, let's look at Chuck Riddle. And I mean, yeah, he looks he looks pretty solid. 33 home runs, 37 doubles, 107. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think this guy's going to start to run away with some stuff. Numbers aren't as good as last year, but at the same time, like he's still effing really good seasons and they're both still 22. So um, he's got a little bit less service time, so he's not going to become a free agent for another two seasons. But a 5.4 war compared to a 6.9 last year. And I think Stephen Bell will become a free agent come... Oh, he'll be next year. And Riddle will be in 2030. Yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. So Stephen Bell should be in his last year of arbitration. Because by year six, you become a free agent. So, again, we've got the Angels in the postseason. Let's see what happens against the Astros. They do get eliminated. So no World Series for them again. But you know what? I'm liking what I'm seeing. Both of these guys having solid careers. Let's get to season six. Let's see what happens for both of them. If one of them leaves their team or actually it's just Bell, we got to see. So let's sim these next two seasons. Let's see if teams are changed. And then what I'll do is I'll sim and we'll do little check-ins to see if they win any MVPs or anything like that. Season six, no Pirates postseason, but we do have another Angels postseason. League leaders was O'Neill Cruz. And if we take a look at awards, realistically, we know that he didn't win a big award, like an MVP or anything. He was in the mix for the Silver Slugger. So Will Smith at the age of 34 is probably, I think that's it for him. You know, he might have another season or two, but realistically, we're okay. I think, I think we might start to see Stephen Bell pop up in the Silver Slugger a little bit more. And he won a gold glove, but we didn't get a notification for that. So there it is. Another gold glove for him. I think this guy is going to get... A few more of those so now let's head over to the al side third base chuck riddle was in the mix but nicky lopez fielding is absolutely nutty so there's that it's gonna be tough to beat him out there for silver slugger he does win a silver slugger though you can see those numbers right there are kind of gross so was he in the mix for the mvp he was in the mix for that hank aaron award what about the mvp mvp for chuck riddle in his fifth season in the majors 23 years old 43 doubles 44 home runs 138 rbis and a 306 average with a 978 ops any quirks still no quirks this is 99 overall i didn't even realize that holy cow jeez okay there it is 9.2 war also he walked 10 percent of the time struck out 14 percent of the time which looks like it's a career low which is awesome for him I mean, yeah, hats off to him. That's that's an MVP like season. I mean, Stephen Bell's up to a 97. Uh, any quirks? No, but 26 doubles, 28 home runs, 170 hits, and I think a 302 average with an 887 OPS is pretty pretty good too. I think the thing that holds him back is that he's a catcher. I think that's really about it. And then let's see here. What do we got for WAR? 8.2. I mean, this is a career year for him. Like both of them are putting up really good numbers. It's just that. You know, Riddle's just that little bit better. I, it's the power numbers, I think. But plus 10 versus lefties, that's pretty impressive too. So again, the Angels are in the postseason. So let's take a look and see what the Angels are going to be up to. We have an elimination. So now this is the big one though. Stephen Bell is a free agent. Will the Pirates bring him back? Do they have the funds to bring him back that is the big thing let's see what happens here he is a free agent uh-oh uh-oh all right do they get him back did they even offer him a contract it doesn't look like it are they gonna let him walk are they really gonna let him walk so they're just gonna let andy rodriguez be the catcher huh i mean andy rodriguez is a very 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 highly like touted prospect for the pirates in the catcher spot but i i feel like you've got a generational catcher here you've got to keep on to that right so right now it's looking like the rays the phillies or the blue jays are going to be snagging up stephen bell are we going to get a notification for it i feel like as a one of the top players in free agency you would get you would get one right so he signed with the team who did he sign with the tampa bay rays eight years 278 and let's see where he slots in with this team. He slots in over MJ Melendez. 
Why do they need both catchers? What is the point? I thought MLB The Show fixed this. So here we go. We uh, don't care about the NL anymore because <laughs> both of them are on the AL side and Chuck Riddle wins back-to-back -back MVPs at the age of 24 and he might start to regress which is absolutely insane so there's that we could just kind of fly through the rest of the rewards um awards sorry not rewards i kind of i kind of like combined both of them rewards yeah that's what i said uh gold glove stephen bell just misses out to gabriel moreno with the gold glove chuck riddle still hasn't won one i don't believe and then if we move over to silver slugger stephen bell's in the mix but that 257 average you don't want to see that and of course, fa uh, facing the big dumper and Tyler Stevenson, it's going to be tough. And then Ch Chuck Riddle, we we saw the we saw the award. We know what he's capable of. So let's go take a look and see what happens. So with the Rays, we'll take a look at Stephen Bell really quick. He's hitting in the four spot, already down to 96 overall. So have we seen the best of Stephen Bell? Has his potential gone from 99 to six, uh, 96 or below? Because if we're getting some regression already, that's not good. Uh oh, not what you want to see. And I've been like fighting a burp that whole sentence because holy cow, whoo, that one that one hurt a little bit. It like got stuck in the middle. Either way, we're we're here. Stephen Bell's regressing. And that's not what you want to see at all. Like that's we man. I was kind of hoping generational talent. We were gonna see some generational numbers. And from a catcher, I I still think this is a really solid career. You know, 273 with the 814 OPS out of the catcher position for like a long career that's pretty tough to do obviously he just signed that crazy big contract and now we have to go follow chuck riddle because he's about to possibly leave and go to a different team wow the angels are zach Neto, riddle and gunner henderson wow okay you've got renifo who's up to an 83 he's got to be coming up to free agency soon but that middle infield of zach Neto, who's now 29 okay i didn't realize he was a little bit older but Chuck Riddle and Gunnar Henderson on the left side of the infield is pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty right there. You've got Logan Ohapi, 87 on the bench. Mike Trout's up to or down to a 75. But Chuck Riddle, MVP in back-to-back -back years, 41 doubles, 44 home runs, and better average, better on base percentage, better slugging, better OPS, 14 stolen bases. He's added stolen bases to his game. Okay. All right. War 6.6. .6. All right. Fielding fielding went down a lot. So fielding's really dragging that war down. But you know what? I mean, he's still absolutely insane. That's pretty good. How many career home runs? 220 at 24 years old. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. So every six years, he's hitting about 220. That's uh, we'll may, maybe have a decent number by the end of the end of his campaign or end of his career, I should say. So... Let's see, no Tampa Bay, but we do have the Angels in the postseason. So once again, we'll follow their their trip and they, they lose once again. All right, so it's the offseason time. Will Chuck Riddle stay with the Angels as the Astros defeat the Cubs in the World Series? So now, what happens with Chuck Riddle? It'll be interesting to see. We head into free agency and Chuck Riddle is a free agent, but he does have a max offer from the Angels. So let's sim a few days and let's see if he does resign with the squad or not. I would assume we would get a notification from him. He's a 99, one of the biggest names in free agency and we don't. So let's see here. Transactions doesn't. Let's see. Let's see. Free agency. Did he resign? Did he resign? We're looking. We're looking. We're looking. Corbin Carroll. Nope. Let's see. Man, where is it? We're looking for it riddle 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 did he, he had to have resigned right let's go to the angels there it is i don't see his name was he was is he still a free agent and i'm just like blind no so he had to have resigned and i'm there's just no notification of it because where else would he have gone yeah he's still back all right yeah he went back 10 years max deal he's sticking with the angels all right so this will probably be the final check-in and what i'll do is i'll check back if we get like an mvp or any other award but for right now or like a world series but for right now let's see here mvp no riddle no bell and no batting title okay so anything else hank aaron no 
a gold glove. Stephen Bell again just gets beaten out. Barely. And at third base, no riddle. Okay, so what about the silver slugger? Holy cow. 93 overall catcher, Carlos Lopez. So we've got another generational player. Another generational catcher, by the way. Good lord. But Stephen Bell's there. And then at third base, Chuck Riddle just gets beaten out by Rafael Devers. So, okay. So no... No awards for either this year, but like I was saying, I'll probably just check in if we get like an MVP or a uh, World Series win because it looks like we've seen the best of at least Stephen Bell. Sadly, at the age of 25, eight years in the majors, Stephen Bell's career might be done. So we might see like, you know, this for the next couple seasons, but uh, he's not really improving, which is a little bit of a bummer. But you know what? He's he's been solid and for some reason catchers seem to be like capped. You never really see like Will Smith popped off, but we, we didn't see a pop off from a generational player, which is crazy. I mean, it's a it's a good season though, like this one right here, the 302 with the 887 OPS. Like an 861 OPS with a 250 average is pretty strong. 73 walks. I mean, like that's a good season. Just missed out on a Silver Slugger, just missed out on a gold glove as well so like this guy has been in the mix for awards a lot like he's been in the race it's just he just can't beat out that last guy and we head over to riddle who both teams didn't make the postseason but he's he's regressing all right so at 25 34 home runs 27 doubles 180 hits so like he's still putting up crazy numbers but you know of course he's going to start to regress at seven years of mlb service time at the old old age of 25 of course all right so the Rays are in the postseason let's see what they do they advance to the next round taking on the Orioles and they get swept yikes okay so yeah like I said I'll check in if we start getting some MVPs or some World Series appearances so we have another MVP who's it gonna be it's only one guy it's gonna be Chuck Riddle I will <laughs> I can't I want to sim a few seasons I want to see what happens, how this all plays out. This guy looks like he's going to be absolutely insane, by the way. 413 on base percentage. Woo! Steven Bell, I'm sorry. You, you're not winning another award ever again. <laughs> you, you've got too much competition right now. You've got so much competition right now. Good Lord. And third base, no gold glove. But what about Silver Slugger? Two Silver Slugger catchers for the Athletics is crazy. And then Chuck Riddle obviously is going to win that there. So we'll take a look at his MVP season. 51 doubles, 38 home runs, 120 RBIs, a 928 OPS. Like, come on. Unbelievable numbers here. This is absolutely insane. And since this is his 10th year, I guess we could also look at Stephen Bell, see what he's up to. Still holding that 96 rating. Still no quirks. Has four years left on his deal. And again, a, a really strong season. Like, he's, you know, for a catcher, he's putting up really really good numbers so i i would say like yeah still a generational player if you compare him to other catchers like I'll, i'm gonna look up catcher numbers at the end of this just kind of compare what he's gonna do at the end of his career he's got four years left on his deal as well so let's go let's keep moving a couple more seasons since we looked at Stephen Bell's 10th season, I figured we should probably look at Chuck Riddle's 10th season as well. 42 home runs. I did check. He didn't win MVP. So there was that. And I, I looked I looked at a couple other stats. He actually missed out on this. Actually, I didn't look at Silver Slugger. I got to go back and look. Let me see. Silver Slugger, third base, three years in a row. That's That's wild. But David Samuels. I saw the name pop up. Who is David Samuels? Samuels. I got to look at the name. Nope, that's not him. Is he the DH? Is he on a different team now? Of course, he's on a different team. He's with the Cardinals. He just he had to have yeah, big boy contract. 33 home runs, 40. What's with all these crazy catchers? What is going on? Come on. Stephen Bell was supposed to be the star, and now he's getting shown up by David Samuels and Carlos Perez. Come on. Um, but yeah, we, we looked at Chuck Riddle really quickly. And let's get back to it. So, yeah, he's still 99, 27 uh, doubles, 42 home runs. Crazy number. 303 average, 989 OPS, and somehow didn't win MVP. So, yeah, I mean, the guy is absolutely insane. 10-year total was 375 for home runs. Hits just shy of 2,000 and 1,800. So, I guess it's not just shy, but you know what I mean. It's pretty good. He's still got a few years left on his deal. Stephen Bell's got a few years left on his deal as well. But I have a feeling we've probably seen the best 
from him, but he's still putting up solid numbers, so you can't can't hate on him. Can't hate on him at all. So let's keep moving forward. I'll probably see you guys when both players retire. All right, so Stephen Bell has finally retired. He's been chilling in free agency for about seven years, it seems like. 49 overall, 38 years old. And yeah, what, four seasons now? I guess I was wrong about the seven, but four seasons. Uh, had an okay couple years to finish off the his career, but um, home runs just shy of 400. Hits-wise, he had 2,133 and a career average of 271 with an 819 OPS. Like, a good year. Just shy of 1,200 RBIs, too. Like, he just fell short on a couple different categories. And realistically, he had a really, really strong career. Um, let's see war-wise. What do we got? 86.8, which I was looking at it. Puts him as the highest war catcher all time. Johnny Bench has 75.1. 86.8. That is a generational catcher. That is an insane stat line for a catcher. Let me see if I can find the uh, most home runs for a catcher. It was 390 by Piazza. He broke it, 391. Let's see, runs batted in, 1290. So he fell short there. Let's see here. Hits was 2749. Again, he's going to fall short there. But realistically, with these stats, like this is a... This is a, a Hall of Fame catcher. Like, he is a very good catcher. Won a couple gold gloves. Won a couple bad uh, silver sluggers. Didn't win an MVP or anything like that. But um, let's see if he's a Hall of Famer. He is not. That's tough. That's tough. I think he would be. Um, I do want to show you Riddle really quickly because he's still going fairly strong, I would say. Uh, 78 overall, 38 years old. Like I said, he's, he's still playing. He's still playing even a couple seasons ago. He was putting up crazy numbers. This year, he didn't win MVP with the 50 home runs. Um, let me see if I can find the guy that did. It was, uh, his name was Chuck, I think. I wonder if Chuck's still playing. It was, was it not Chuck? Uh, Chuck might have retired. I'm not lying. Um, was his name Chuck? The guy might have retired. Uh, it looks like he did, and I'm too far away that I'm not going to be able to pick up his name. The guy retired. It was Chuck. It was 100% Chuck. So that sucks that he's not a, not here anymore. Was it Chuck? Was it Charlie? It was something something CH. Maybe it was Charlie. Uh, I'll know the name when I see it. Uh, I'm not going to find it. Um, but the dude was a freak. It was he was crazy good crazy good let me see if i can find him it wasn't chuck it wasn't even close it was martin corley um he won it with this season right here 40 home runs 52 doubles 148 rbis it was 2038 i believe that that was the year we were talking about right i believe it was it was that was 38 let me see it it was not 2037 i'm letting you know now chuck riddle did not win mvp this year unfortunately so um, I, it was that guy. That guy won MVP. I know he did, which is crazy because his stat line, 37. It just, uh, he won, yeah, 340. He won MVP. They gave it to this guy. I'm, I'm promising you, he won. So, uh, but Riddle's having a good season, a good career too. I just need him to retire. All right, Chuck Riddle has finally retired. Whew, 42 years old, 19 years of MLB service time, and his last season with was, was with Detroit. As you can see, 3,000 hits, 643 home runs, and uh, just shy of, or actually 1,900 RBIs. Pretty impressive. 280 average, 879 OPS, almost at 889, 879 OPS, and a war at 109.2. A war of 109.2 puts him at, where is it, where is it, where is it? Number 23, just above Frank Robinson, right below Tom Seaver and Mickey Mantle, Mel Ott, Ricky Henderson. But 23rd overall all-time for war is insane. If we take a look at home run leader, 643. I'm going to have to, uh, where is it? All-time. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me pull this up. All right, 643 home runs. That was really the one that I was worried about. Put some seventh all-time above Ken Griffey Jr. behind Willie Mays, A-Rod, Pujols, Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, and Barry Bonds. Yeah, 643. Yeah, just, just above Ken Griffey's 630. Absolutely insane. Hits-wise, let me let me go back and pull it up. Hits-wise, 3,112 puts him just above Dave Winfield. So he would be 23rd all time, right behind Alex Rodriguez with 3,115. 
That is insane. Chuck Riddle, have a career. I mean, the fact that at 2037, he hit 50 home runs and just absolutely went, went wild. Absolutely insane career. Unbelievable. Has to be a Hall of Famer. And he is. There we are. There it is. Double generational talent career sim. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content. And of course, if you want to see more career sims and other things like this franchise related, let me know in the comment section. Catch you in the next one. Peace.